Hello, Terra Fit. It's Rachel and Taylor, and we are here again for a Terra Tip. Um, and today we're going to be talking about stretching and how important it is. So this is a good one for everybody involved to make sure that you know what stretching is about. But of course, we want to tell you what's coming up. Yeah. So of course, we mentioned it before. Our holiday sprint is coming up on November 27th. So that's just a three-week challenge in between the holidays, kind of keep that those changes that you've been making with healthy eating and working out just keep it going for those three weeks yeah and it's a great one too because it's only three weeks it's a great one for people to try out because I know 12 weeks for people they're like no way am I signing up for something for 12 weeks so if you jump in for tw or for yeah for 21 days they can be like oh well, I can do a 12 week if I can do 21 days I can do 12 weeks yeah so if you have people that are like mm, I need to try it out first this is a great one to get them to try it out yeah and if you're thinking about coaching this is a good challenge to kind of test out the coaching also because it again is only three weeks yes we also want to say congratulations to Elaine Brannon on winning the multi-purpose kitchen dicer set thing <laughs> um, it has such cool parts I have one in my house and I use it all the time it's like different sizes of slicing it's pretty cool but we will contact you Elaine and get that sent out to you and thank you for everybody for all your comments and all the participation um, and make sure that you participate this time too so you can um, get a chance to win our giveaway today yes today our giveaway are diffuser necklaces <laughs> yeah so these are super cool you put the oil on the necklace and then it's kind of like a thing all day long to help keep your emotions intact or the balance or whatever you like to use but it's around your neck all the time so instead of putting it on your skin if maybe your skin is sensitive or if you just want to be able to smell it a lot more instead of having it soak into your skin it'll be on there so you can smell it and keep it going all day plus Pretty they're cool. cute so they are cute you know. yeah <laughs> there's like earrings and bracelets like they're getting crazy <laughs> but we're gonna do a necklace this time yeah so Today, we were talking about stretching, as Rachel said before. Stretching is kind of one of those things that everyone you know, knows about it, knows it's good to do, but people ignore it a lot of the time. Um, when you only have a certain amount of time to do a workout, you just go right into it. But it really is important that you stretch before and a little bit after your workouts as well. Yeah, so why stretch? It loosens your muscles so that you can get a better workout. When your muscles are tight, you're not gonna be able to do as much because you could strain a muscle, you could pull a muscle, or your muscles are just not, there's not enough blood in them in order to lift those weights that you're trying to lift. So you need to make sure your um, muscles are loose in order to do the workouts. Um, another thing is stretching helps with balance. Um, I am bad at balance and stretching. Funny how they go together, you know? <laughs> um, but that's another reason. Yeah, another one is obviously um, reduce the injury, um, reduce the risk of in injury. Um, we grew up playing soccer and I remember one time it was kind of cold I didn't stretch and I went and did straight into my sprints and I totally pulled my hamstring because I wasn't stretched and warmed up so there can be injuries and the biggest thing with therapy is we're trying to help you build the habits to have a healthy lifestyle and so if we skip stretching we're not helping you so make sure that you stretch so your body is ready to do those workouts and not pull those muscles yeah, another thing is stretching makes it easier on your joints. When you're doing squats or jumping jacks or something like that, the stronger your muscles are and the looser they are, the less stress is gonna be on those joints. Yes, and the last one is it's a better posture. So for example, if your back is tight and you're trying to do a squat, there's no way you're gonna be able to do it correctly. Or if you're trying to do yoga poses, there's no way you're gonna be able to balance if your legs are tight. So stretching will help with everything, even just like walking, if, you're, if your muscles are loose, your posture when you're walking and sitting is gonna be a lot better. Yeah, um, so with stretching, there's a couple do's and a couple don'ts. So some of the do's of stretching, um, one of them is to always stretch before you work out. It doesn't have to be an intense stretch, um, just a light enough stretch that your muscles are loosened so that you can do the workout properly. Yeah, another one that a lot of people forget is they stretch, like say I'm gonna do my arms today. I only stretch my arms. That is not gonna help the rest of your body. The rest of your body is still working out, even if you're just working your arms. You're still gonna be working your core, you're still gonna be working those legs, even if you're not focusing on those um, body parts. So make sure that you don't only just do one stretch on your arm and then call it good. You need to make sure your whole body's warmed up for every type of exercise. So do exercise, or stretch everything, every time. Yeah, um, another thing is Stretching requires a little bit of time, you know, 30 seconds for, you know, one muscle that you're stretching. Don't just, you know, Touch kick your, your feet out or something yeah. and call it good because that's not going to help you at all. Yeah. So we say about 30 seconds for each stretch, I guess mm -hmm. you would call it. Yep. 
And if you have enough time, they say a minute is the best time because that gives you enough time to finish this full stretch and get a little bit further. So if you have the time, put a, a minute into each stretch. I know that sounds like a lot, but it'll make a huge difference in your workouts. Yeah. Um, another do is if you have a diffuser or if you have oils, rub them onto your um, sore areas or the areas that you're gonna be stretching to give a little bit of help. The best one is the Soothing Blend, the Deep Blue, um, or even peppermint is really good for muscles and things like that. So if you have those in your home, make sure to use those as well on your body. Yeah. Um, the don'ts kind of are just opposites of the do's. <laughs> so don't don't ignore stretching altogether. Make sure you are putting in time for the stretching. That was funny. <laughs> okay. Um, another one is do not, like we said, do not only stretch one muscle group. We've talked about that a little bit. Um, but that will not help you in your workouts. Yes. Okay, that's all the don'ts that we have. Yeah. So now we're just gonna kind of, clearly we're not dressed for proper stretching very much, but there's just a couple stretches that are um, simple, basic for common muscle groups that you're gonna use in a lot of the workouts. Yes, so one of the biggest things that people say is, like if you're bending forward and you're trying to touch your toes and you can't, and you're like, like this, that's okay. Don't push yourself so hard that you pull your muscles. Um, the best thing to do is if you have like a yoga block or a chair or a stool or something that's like a, like a, um, a stool that you put in like the bathroom that are like about this high, use that. Use it to put your hands on so that you don't push yourself all the way to the floor. Um, obviously if you can go to the floor, go all the way to the floor and breathe through your, your stretching. If you hold your breath, it's going to hurt so bad. So make sure you're breathing, you can go a little bit further. Um, Taylor, unfortunately, is uh, the sister in our family who is the least flexible. Yes. So we always make fun of her for it, but it's sometimes not her fault. But so all what? Time, not my fault. <laughs> what you can do for it is instead of going all the way down, do you want to try? Do you want to just go down? <laughs> sure. You put your hands on your calves. So like, if she wants to put it on her shins instead of going all the way down, that's still stretching, right, T? Yes. I feel it. <laughs> feel the burn. That's still stretching, but she's not pushing so far. So just think about that. Another one like with the lunges and things like that, or like with these ones, keep your hand on your knee or on your calf, or go as far as you can. Don't push yourself all the way to the ground just because you want to go all the way to the ground. Yeah. Um, so those are some things that you can think about when you're doing your arms. Again, if you're putting your arm behind your head, don't pull your hands as far as you can, just do as much as you can, and then breathe into it to go a little bit further. Right. But we never, ever, ever, ever wanna hear that someone hurt their muscles because they were stretching. Um, if you need stretching videos, you can find them. There's tons and tons out there on online. Just make sure that when you are looking online, like on YouTube or Pinterest or something like that, that you do your due, 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 due diligence, I can't say that, and look up who they're talking, or what, who the company is that they're talking about. Because sometimes you're gonna get random people and they may not be knowing, may not know what they're talking about, so they may not be as good. Um, the best one you're gonna find is on our advantage workouts. There's yeah. a couple of stretching videos on there. Um, and the best thing about those is you don't have to do the whole video. If you just need a couple stretches, you can do 10 minutes of it and that, that will still help with stretching, of course. So yeah. check out those videos. And if you notice on, if you do our Terra, Terra, or Terra Fit videos, um, you'll notice that they always have a warm up and a cool down area. Um, and sometimes it's not straight static stretching. It's um, jogging in place or getting your muscles warmed up. That's kind of the same thing. Um, static stretching is really good for after your workouts. Um, the cardio warm ups are really good for before your workouts. So if you don't have time to do both, pick one that you think is gonna be what best for your workout that day. Right. And a little bit of what she was talking about earlier, don't push it. Because over time you're gonna see that difference and you're gonna get more flexible and stretching is gonna be easier for you. But at the beginning it might not be. I like can't even touch my toes. and. She's laughing because I get that all the time from my family. But the more you stretch, the easier it's gonna get. So don't push it because it will get there eventually. Yeah, and like we said, I promise that you'll notice a difference in your workouts. My husband has really, really tight hamstrings and so it hurts his back when he does workouts. And he's been stretching every day and so now he can finally touch his toes, which is huge if you know him. And it, his back is a lot better in all of his workouts because there's not as much strain on his back and on his joints. So we promise we're not just saying this to get you to do our workouts or to get you to do our videos. We promise it will make a difference in your fitness overall. Yeah. 
And I think that's all we have for stretching. So don't forget that our holiday sprint starts November 27th. So get your teams together, get registering for that. And don't forget our awesome giveaway of these necklace diffusers. I don't know why I can never remember the name of them. Yes. And like we said, if you have been thinking about coaching and you're like, I don't know if I can do it, sign up for the sprint because there's you don't have to pay. If you're already in TerraFit, you don't have to pay to become a coach. So become a coach, throw it out to all your friends and family, see if you can get anybody. If not, no big deal. If you do, great, that's awesome. Um, and if you are having great success, share it. People want to know that. Mm -hmm. um, we got a comment the other day, I hope this person doesn't care, I'm not going to say names, but she said, somebody walked into her office and said, oh my gosh, did you have surgery done? Because you look great. And she's like, no, it's just TerraFit. <laughs> so people want to know what you're doing, so share your story. Yeah. Um, and make sure you go and use the pictures and the things you find on TerraFit. You're welcome to use any of the before and afters that we've posted from other challenges to show people that it's real and people do have success in TerraFit. Yeah. And I think that's all we have for you. So remember the do's and don'ts of stretching and make sure you comment what your favorite oil is to use after a hard workout so that we can kind of get some more ideas for our behind the scenes back here. And we will see you next week. See ya.